All right, Rich Soares here with 303 Radio, and we have an exciting interview f to share with you. We'd like to thank our sponsors, Blue Competitive Cycles, Core Sports, Base Performance, and Infinite Nutrition. Uh, before we get started here, I am here with Jeremy and Christina from Smile Train. Welcome and thanks for uh, joining me today, guys. Thank you, Rich. Thanks for having us. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, let's do this. Let's um, talk about, before we get too far into this, what is Smile Train, first of all? Absolutely. So Smile Train is an international children's charity. We focus on a single solvable problem, which is cleft lip and palate repair. And we provide 100% free comprehensive and cleft repair surgery to children in the developing world. Wow. And how many children have you helped so far over 1 million so we really? celebrated our millionth smile in 2014 so and Christina what is your role with smile train my role I am the triathlon manager so I manage our um, it's called team empower and it's our endurance fundraising team under okay. smile train and what other sports uh, do you use as a kind of a platform for raising money and supporting these children um, other sports are marathons and Ironman. Okay. And we also have a choose your own kind of DIY program so people can turn their own race into a fundraiser for Smile Train. Oh, that's great. Awesome. Well, that's very exciting. Uh, Jeremy, let's talk to you a little bit about how you got inspired to participate in Smile Train. Sure. Thanks, Rich. Um, so it started out in 2006. My daughter was born with a cleft lip and palate. And, uh, my wife Kelly and I were, I'm in the military service and we had some incredible care uh, both at the military hospital and some phenomenal civilian hospitals and she's been through sur three surgeries now, uh, she's almost 12 and uh, we just uh, immediately kind of when we found out she was going to have a cleft we started doing some research and we really wanted to get involved and after she had you know these successful surgeries we kind of figured we need to give back because the quality of care that we received, we, we wanted others to have as well. And so we found Smile Train and we raced several endurance events for them. It was kind of the choose your own adventure at that point. And then in 2013, um, I was getting ready to deploy for a year and I got four friends of mine and we decided that we were going to race uh, Ironman that year. And which Ironman was that? Uh, it was Lake Placid, okay. 2013. Yeah, it took us a little while to figure out which race we were going to do because of the logistics <laughs> of getting everyone together. By the time we made our decision, the race was already sold out. Uh -huh. And uh, I contacted Ironman hoping to get a charity slot from them. And as one individual, they were kind of, well, we, we're working with some charities, but we we're not quite set yet. And in my mind, it w I was like, well, Smile Train needs to be one of those charities. And I reached out to uh, the team that was at Smile Train at, the, in the, at that point and linked them up. Hey, Smile Train, here's Iron Man. Iron Man, here's Smile Train. And they were able to secure five slots for the, for the five of us for Lake Placid. And then it actually, after that, led to uh, what became Team Empower, the endurance team uh, that we have now for Smile Train. And, uh, became the, the first official charity partner with Smile, or Smile Train and Iron Man uh, in Iron Man, Arizona. Wow, that's amazing. Now, did you, did you say your wife also fundraises? Does she also compete in endurance events? So she uh, has in the past. Okay. She's not actively competing right now, but she is absolutely <laughs> a key contributor to uh, how we were able to meet our goal this year. So obviously a very personal story for you and a very personal um, you know, connection to this. Uh, how is your daughter doing now? Just to listen to happen. Yeah. yeah. No, she's fantastic. We just she just had uh, her annual appointment with the cleft team, and what's really neat is you know we went in and we saw an orthodontist, we saw a dentist, we saw a plastic surgeon, we saw a pediatrician, a speech therapist, um, all of the core competencies that um, you receive pretty much with any team here in the United States. And what was really neat is that. We saw the same thing happening at a Smile Train partner hospital uh, during a visit in Thailand this past July. And you know, we met with the orthodontists, the plastic surgeons, you know, the dentists, uh, the, uh, so, the, the, um, the, the psychologists, the sociologists, 
um, speech everybody and we met with patients too and it really just brought it all home for us and um, about just how just so such a small contribution from us can go so far in transforming uh, a child's life and a family's life really so yesterday we had a little conversation while we were swimming or after we were done swimming we talked about how important the the, uh, the power of a smile is in terms of human connection would you share a little bit about our conversation yesterday yeah sure it was really neat because i was talking on the charity panel the other day here at, at uh, the world championships and the three three panel speakers before me said you know their mantra for the race was smile and that was just to me like <laughs> that's so incredible that their mantra for the race is smile and i'm here to help people smile you know and it was just so profound because it, it's it's something that transcends our cultural uh, you know uh, transcends culture transcends us as humans you know it, it's a universal way of communicating our facial expressions and smiling and to think that there are are, are kids and people out there that that don't even have that ability to do that and it really uh, impacts their lives I mean there are there are kids that have trouble eating, have trouble breathing, even trouble speaking, and and even can't go to school because they have this this the simple solvable problem, um, and that's what Smile Train does. And through that, uh, it transforms that that child's life, and it transforms the family's life because in a lot of cases, you know, kids are are left to orphanages orphanages or or worse. And, and families are even excommunicated out of communities because in a lot of places uh, the, the, the culture just doesn't understand what a cleft is and what causes it and, and that it's repairable and fixable. Um, so I thought it was just fascinating that at the end of the day, like that was people's mantra to get them through Iron Man was to smile. And, and, and my mantra is, is, you know, to be a champion for kids that, that can't smile. Yeah. And in all of in, of all places, the Ironman World Championship, where you've got who knows how many countries that are actually represented here, and a smile can open up you know communication between people who do not have a common language, right? And uh, it's really kind of amazing. You know, you talked about some of these countries that um, where the culture doesn't really accept you know this this condition, and um, what is being done to educate? these cultures about you know what cleft palate is and and to help change that dynamic it's really neat because smile train steps in and they work with they teach local doctors how to perform the surgery so that's that's first and foremost you know they're they're teaching they use the teach a man to fish model you know they're not going in and doing the work for the communities they're teaching the communities how to take care of themselves and that's just crucial as far as like taking it down the road and continuing the care. But one of the things that they do is they also, these teams are also, also go out into the communities around, surrounding you know, their, the, the partner hospital and throughout the country to help find these kids that have clefts and, and to help educate them and bring them their families to the cleft center for, for care. So it's, it's really a comprehensive program. It's just, it's just so incredible. All right, let me shift gears on you a little bit. Tell me about how this mission of yours kind of shapes your training and your uh, preparation for the day. Um, huh. So, I mean, the mission is really, at the end of the day, it's my inspiration to like, to keep going every day and really, I, so I'm a type A personality, so I'm gonna do my workouts anyway, but, uh, um, it is that just little extra to kind of push and push through you know when you know everyone has a day that they're kind of off or whatever and but uh, i realized that hey i need to um i need to plan a little bit of fundraising time today i need to plan my workout time and i need to plan my family time um and i have that thing called work in there too yeah, right. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah it, it just really helps push me to do the best that i can yeah. So you're going to be out there racing just uh, one day. Yeah. Uh, tell us about what is your mantra that's going to get you through the day. Talk about other people's mantra. What's your mantra? So my mantra 
if to sum it up in one word is champion um in a phrase be a champion um and and really because it's about being a champion for others and that's why i'm here and so because of the support they've given me my friends and family and and frankly even strangers that have uh have supported us um they're pushing me but i'm also being a champion for the kids that can't be champions for themselves and so that that still that pushes me even further so that that'll be the phrase that i'm going that's going through my head all day long all right christine i got a question for you what is what are the thoughts that you're going to be having having been on this journey with jeremy what are the thoughts you're going to be having as you go through today tomorrow Oh, <laughs> there will be a lot of thoughts. <laughs> Mostly, um, you know, just hoping that everyone's feeling good and having a good day. Um, you know, that everyone's ready. Everyone is ready. They've been, you know, training for almost a year yeah. now. Um, and just, you know, probably thinking, updating social media and making sure everyone back home uh, can see what you guys are going through. So one more question. How close are you to your goal of fundraising? <laughs> I'm actually half a smile away. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So it's all I can do to resist. Like, oh, well, I know we're going to get there. Um, and that's not even a question. Um, what, what is the total amount that you're trying to raise, first of all? So we're, our goal is $50,000. Okay. And that's enough to uh, give 200 children uh, that free surgery. So it's $250 covers uh, a, a what can be a, a simple 45 minute surgery. Wow. All right, so that uh, translates to how much are you sure? $125. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for doing the math. Yeah. For me. um, so you mentioned support. Yep. Uh, you got uh, some folks supporting family, friends, right? Yes. Tell us about uh, some of the other support that you have out there. Who else is helping you get here? So one of the biggest supporters that we have is QT2. Uh, they've been huge. They're our coaching partner with Smile Train. And uh, honestly, they embrace us as any other Kona qualified athlete. And then, of course, through them, all of their sponsors, uh, you know, Roka, Quintana Roo, um, Norma Tech, gosh, everybody has, you know, embraces us as, as a regular Kona athlete. And that just, it just goes, it means a lot to me. And I know it means a lot to the other athletes that uh, we're, we're out here and, and doing our best for our team and for our friends. And if somebody wants to make a donation, how do they do it? Oh, it's pretty simple. <laughs> I, I think you probably yeah. got this rehearsed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, Smile Train's got a, a web page, um, and it's, uh, let's see, my.smiletrain.org slash fundraiser slash Kona 2018 is my personal page. If you go to that link, there's a Donate Now button. Uh, you can find me also on Instagram. I'm smile.champion. There's a link in my bio there. And uh, on Facebook, just search my name, Jeremy Huff. Awesome. Jeremy. Christina, thank you guys so much. This has been a great, great chatting with you. Good luck tomorrow, all right? Thanks, Rich. All right, buddy. All right. Thank hey, you. Hey, thanks a lot, all right?